<clears throat> Hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, I was going to say I hope it was a good week, but I just did a video yesterday. But I still hope it was a good week if you didn't see that one. If you didn't watch it, god damn it. It was a good video. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do a review and a comparison. What am I going to review? I got a few samples of the new Gentleman Vinci. <clears throat> Reserve Privé Eau de Parfum. Man, that's a handle. What a fucking handle. I mean, it kind of seems like they put one too many words in there. But, hey, what do I know? Um, I, I got, like I said, I got like four of these little samples. Five of these little samples. And uh, I wore them all week. Because I love the gentleman line. Um, let's give you the write-up they have on these. The sensuality of ambery wood, a floral facet of iris for a timeless elegance, an utterly addictive, heavy duet. Okay, that's the write up. The notes they give, <clears throat> and I'm assuming they're official because this is coming from Givenchy. It's a woody floral amber. Notes are bergamot, chestnut, iris, cedarwood, and vetifer and benzoin. Um. I got a lot to say about this one, especially compared to the EDP. One second, please. Stupid chair. Too fat for it. It's lower. Um, yeah. Um, let's get into this, this one first. I'll review it, and then I'll compare it. <clears throat> Um, when I first spray it on, I don't think I have anything left in this one. Oh, a little bit. Very little bit. I'll try taking the top off. Oh, this is one of the ones you can't. When you first spray it on, I get a boozy note. A slight boozy note. Um, that could be the benzoin, though. Um, giving it a... And it's not even... I, I don't know what booze it is. It's just... A, a, it's giving it a warmth. A boozy warmth. Um, could be a whiskey or a scotch or even a cognac. Uh, giving it a bit of a... Because it's, it's, it's an indistinct booze note. I really can't... <clears throat> hit my nose on what booze note it is. But it's 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 a slight booze note. This isn't a boozy scent by any stretch of the, the imagination. <clears throat> it's a... Uh, but I'm, <clears throat> I'm immediately hit. With, like I said, it's a slight booze, but what comes out immediately is that iris and uh, <clears throat> the, the, the benzoin, uh, giving it a slight sweet. I mean, I, the booze, boozy note could be doing it too. <clears throat> Just sorry, I got a frog in my throat, guys. <clears throat> the boozy note could be doing it too, but it's definitely got the slight sweetness. I'm, I'm saying it's from the benzoin uh, and a heavy. Not a heavy, like heavy, it's heavy, but a lot. I should say a lot of uh, that powdery, makeup-y kind of lipstick vibe, Irish, you get. A lot of that. That is the main player in this scent. Just like Gentleman EDP, Gentleman uh, Bose, uh, Gentleman EDT Intense, uh, even Gentleman. <clears throat> That iris is the uh, the main player. And it's pretty much the whole scent. I, I wish I could tell you that it changes, but it doesn't have to when it's just fucking good. I don't want it to. That booziness stays throughout the first few hours, that warmth. Um, then it kind of goes away after about three, three and a half hours. Uh, maybe four. I mean, I don't have a stopwatch when I do this, but roughly... <clears throat> and uh, a bit of uh, woodiness comes out. Uh, I'm, again, I'm not getting any <clears throat> particular wood. Um, if I had to guess, I wouldn't say that it's cedar wood. Cedar tends to be kind of sharp. I would probably say more like a... <sighs> Almost 
like a patchouli, but the woody type of patchouli, not not the stanky hippie type or the earthy type or or the super sweet type, but the woody type of patchouli. Um, it, it's it's quite nice. Um, again, it's got a sweetness to this scent, but it's not like the EDP <clears throat> where you get a straight up vanilla. Uh, this is more of a, a a laid back kind of scent. Um, in its sweetness, it's it's in the it's there. It's not even in the background. It's there. It's sweet, but it's not any you know. It's not anything bubblegummy. <clears throat> Or the main player, or anything like that. It's kind of mixing with that iris just right. Um, and the woods. And you do pick up a bit of the chestnut. Uh, about, again, about three hours in, I'm getting a tiny hint of chestnut. Uh, just giving it a bit of a creamy vibe. A nutty vibe. Um, but, for the most part, the main player is that booze. That, that, that. Very s underwhelming, I guess would be the word, booze. Boozy scent, when then the iris is bang in your face. Powdery, makeup-y, and it's got the sweetness from the, I'm assuming the benzoin. Again, could be the booze. I don't know, but it's got a sweetness to it. A touch of sweetness. A touch of sweetness. And this is what this is, a masterpiece. Masterpiece. Um, <clears throat> performance. Got about seven or eight hours out of it easy. Uh, projection. Not a beast by any stretch of the word, but definitely not bad. It's it's above average. Um, especially for the first half hour, 40 minutes, it really does project quite a bit. Could be beast. Um, then it just kind of slowly over the next two hours or so kind of comes in and it kind of sits really close to the skin, which is nice. Um... <clears throat> I love it. I, I let's talk about the now that the review's done. That's review ten out of ten. Uh well nine and a half out of ten. Could be a little more irisy. I love iris though. <laughs> um, let's 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 talk. Uh, let's start comparing it. I guess is what I want to do to the. First off, let's talk about the line, the, the, the gentleman line, the, all of them, all of them, not the gentleman only line, the gentleman line by Givenchy. It has by far become my favorite line, um, especially since Dior, it's, it's good for you Dior Ohm fans because they're kind of messing with Dior Ohm and all its flankers right now and they've taken away that sweet vanilla and iris for most of the part, most part, um, they're not. I mean, same as uh, Valentino. They've taken away from the Rumo line. The first couple were Dior own type scents, and now they've gone away from it. This is the only one, and I could be wrong, of course, but it's the only one I know of, only designer <clears throat> line that still uses the iris in heavy doses and in nice ways. Um, heavier in some, like the EDT does have iris in it, takes a while for it to develop that pear note that I talked about kind of rules for the first couple hours but the iris does start to come out and mix with that pear and it's really nice um DDP is the iris bomb from the ones I've smelled uh Bose Bose uh again heavy on the iris not as heavy as the EDP not as heavy as the <laughs> reserve purveo de parfum what I handle um but it falls in between those two um, then this has a good dose of iris, and then the EDP is just an iris bomb, completely. I um, love it. Um, I love iris, though. So, for those of you who guess what I'm saying, who like the, the Dior Ohm line, and you don't want to pay, or you can't find, what, Dior Ohm pre-2020, and Dior Ohm Intense pre-22, uh, are going for, this is your, a, a great <clears throat> substitute. Not even substitute, replacement. Great replacement. They are the best iris scents right now, other than a few of your niche scents, but these are the best designer iris scents 
you're gonna find now easily hands down there i don't i won't even argue the point with anybody these are the best sorry thirsty cold decaf coffee not the best um <clears throat> Um, like I said, this is, this is, I'm going to compare these two now. Um, first thing <clears throat> I want to say is, uh, this is not this and this is not this, but they are really close, really close. Um. They do have some differences. Um, this is definitely ha is sweeter, heavier on the iris, way heavier on the iris, and way heavier on the sweet vanilla. It's a sweeter vanilla iris type scent. Um, whereas this is a, it's got that slight sweetness from the benzoin, bit of warmth from the booze, and a nice dose of iris. Um, uh, performance wise this is this is a beast this is average to a little above average but this is beast uh, every step of the way <clears throat> um this is like i said a little softer less sweet than this one um which brings me to my next how do i explain it okay that's uh But they both got heavy iris in them. They both got that makeup vibe. This is more like if you went into a woman's purse where she had makeup in it, lipstick and makeup, and like a candy bar. Um, no, sorry, this one is more like that, where she's got lipstick and and perf or makeup and you know the powders they use and whatnot. I don't know, and a candy bar or something in there, something sweet, chocolatey, vanilla. -y. Um. That's what this reminds me of. Whereas this is more, is if you open up a woman's, I don't know why you would, but if you open up a woman's like makeup box, do you women have makeup boxes? My nan did. My mom does. It's like a box with makeup in it. Um, and she has a jewelry box right next to it. So I was actually, we got it mixed up and threw her jewelry into the bunch of face powder. <laughs> I'm sure it's happened. But anyway, <clears throat> when you get that, makeup -y vibe with, you know, there's a bit of sweetness and woodiness from the box itself. That's what this one is like. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I love this. Like I said, this is my second favorite in the line. This is my first, which brings me to my final point, I guess. Um, is it redundant to own this and this? <clears throat> That's a hard question for me to answer. That's going to be have something personal for you. Um, I would say no, but that's because I love Iris so much that I tend to buy. I'm already going tomorrow to buy a big bottle of this because I'm a fucker. I'm not even going to fucking do it online. I looked online. It's like $8 less. Fuck it. I'll get it and get it right away. Um, I mean, I could wait, I guess, and probably get 20 or 30 bucks off, but I don't want it now because I'm a sucker. <laughs> but uh love it i'm not putting it down by any stretch of my second favorite from this line and it will probably make my top 10 of all time now it is great i liked it better than boys a i like it better than uh edt intense the edt the only one i don't like it better than is this but that's because this is so heavy iris and vanilla that that's my jam um <clears throat> So for someone like me, if you're if you're a big fan of the iris scents, um, and you have the disposable income, make sure you have the disposable income. This is definitely not redundant if you own this, or vice versa. Go out and get this if you own this, um, because they kind of play off each other. Do you know what I mean? Um, you could be out all day at work. Wearing this, and then, you know, you get home, you don't have time to shower, but your friends want to go out. You can spray a couple sprays of this on, and they won't clash with each other. They're, they'd be perfectly fine that way. Um, this will definitely overpower this anyway. 
So, but I'm just saying that they won't clash with each other. You know, sometimes you put on a separate scent and it just kind of clashes and it's not cool. These won't do that. Um, so realistically though, <clears throat> which one do I like better? Realistically. I like this one better. Again, that's my feelings on it though. Again, realistically, looking at it realistically, uh, versatile, um, usability, all that stuff. This is going to be more up your alley. Um, it's not as loud, not near as loud. Um, not as in your face with its projection. Um, it's got a bit more nuance to it. It's got that... Like I said, it is, it's a softer smell than this. Um, it's booze isn't as... Because this has got a... Off the top, you get a huge dose of booze on this one, too. Um, this one smells more like a rum, though. If I had to guess, this is a whiskey or a, or a scotch, you know, that kind of that kind of booze. Um, this is definitely sweeter. Um, both beautiful scents. Like I said, this is a 10. This is a 9.5. I mean, it, 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 they're both favorites of mine right now. Probably will be for the rest of my life. When I like a clone this much, I tend to like it all the time. <clears throat> Fahrenheit. Um, but this is definitely easier to wear. Um, if I had to choose, I'd get them both and use this one for... Win they're both winter scents. Again, there's another thing. Uh, technically, again, you wear what you want when you want. But these would technically be classified as winter scents. Um, fall and winter. Um, they'll both cut through the cold like a mother. So, I would definitely get this for the night times. And I'd have this for the day times, which is what I'm going to do. Like I said, and I can spray this over them if I don't have time to take a shower or whatever. Mm -hmm. Just get time to run in the house, have a quick change of clothes, and go back out for some kind of dinner or something. Um, yeah, I mean, so, get this. Uh, test both of them if you don't have either one of them yet to see which one you like better. You're probably going to like this one better, honestly. Um, unless you're just a big fan of a sweet vanilla iris heavy pounding scent, then this is the one. But most of you are going to like this better, but I'd say give them both a try. Both of them are, are they're elegant they're, 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 they're sophisticated, they're, they're gentlemanly, but they can also be worn relatively casually, too, they, they, you know, they're, you don't have to wear, I mean, I wore this to work, and all I wear to work is a t-shirt and a polo type deal, like, a work shirt, and it suits it just fine, um, but it would also suit a suit just fine, and anything in between, uh, I'd avoid both of them in the upcoming months, uh, again, I don't generally, winterized scents but i'm out outside a lot in the summer myself and these two might just be a little too much um but if i was going to wear one in the summer it'd be this and it would be like half a spray <laughs> i mean it, it, it's just they don't lend themselves to the summer months really well maybe cooler summer nights towards the end of the summer but not the mid summer's nights heat and shit no but that's it guys yeah um great sense both of them uh Try them both. Uh, if you're an idiot like me, you'll own both of them. Uh, if not, you'll probably go with the the newer one. It's a little little more wearable than the other one. So, but anyway, that's the review and the comparison, guys. Let me know what you think. If you own both of them, or you tried both of them, or you're going to try both of them, let me know. Tell me what you think. You think I'm nuts for thinking the Eau de Parfum is better, or do you, or do you agree with me? Who knows? Peace, love, be good to each other, guys.